Before we get deep into the episode, here is a no bait bear hook fishing challenge to kick things off. Here you go. Got him. Got him. Bear hook, baby. Yep, peacock. Can't get him to hit bait. Can't get him to hit lures. But he ate a bear hook. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of CEO Fishing. Catch everything outdoors. I'm your host, Brian, the CEO, fresh out the hospital because for those of you who haven't followed the channel, I just had knee surgery, so this is why I got crutches right here. But yesterday, they found that I have a blood clot in my leg, so it's extremely painful. I'm actually on some stuff right now, so I feel okay. Still hurts, but we don't let that kind of stuff slow us down over here at CEO Fishing. Uh, today's video is a fun video. It, it's got tarpon fishing, snook, crocodiles, food, and family all in one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a trip down to the Keys with my wife and my daughter, and it's just a day of fun. So check it out, but first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell right now because you don't want to miss any upcoming episodes, but enjoy the show. I actually have one shrimp lure left. It's a big old tarpon, baby! We do uh, training with them every day. That is gorgeous. What are you throwing? What lure? Comment below. Hey buddies. You are a handsome fella. We're going on a little adventure today, guys. So we're doing things a little different today. I'm actually heading down to the Keys. It's the end of the holiday break. And you know, I've got my family with me. So well, that's my family right there. And uh, we're just gonna enjoy the day. If I can fish, I'm gonna try and fish for you guys. But if not, you know, I'll show you some cool stuff and I uh, hope you enjoy the ride. Comment below road trip and I'm gonna heart your comment. So we had a quick bite in Wahoo's. I had the smoked Wahoo dip and a mahi sandwich blackened, of course. It was absolutely delicious. But once we finished lunch, we headed down to Theater of the Sea. I love this place because they take care of their animals. They are literally the second oldest um, marine mammal facility in the whole world. They were established in 1946 by the McKinney family using an old rock quarry that was excavated by Henry Ford to build the railroad all the way down to the Keys. They have a lot of rescue animals there. There's actually a sea turtle that has a flotation device on its back to help him swim so he doesn't drown. They've rescued alligators and crocodiles and various other animals that live at Theater of the Sea. So if you want to go learn about the various marine mammals and the wildlife that they have there, go ahead and check it out. It's down in Alamarada and I highly recommend a visit. So you guys remember that super viral video I did with the blue fish uh, where my son was catching it and everyone was talking about 40 Shield and uh, Fortnite and all that stuff. Well, I got a bunch of them right here behind me. So let's go feed them. Like right here in this area. <laughs> Quiet! It's over here. I touched a pail of fish! So these guys eat the coral rock and they chew it up and when they poop it out it turns into sand and that's the beaches that we walk on.
Look at the blue on that. I think she ate a parrotfish. There's a sea lion show. They teach you how to how they feed and train the uh, crocodilians, the alligators, and the crocodiles. Whether passing by through Al Morada or staying in the area, make sure you get by there and uh, check it out because it's definitely fun for the family and it's you know it's educational as well. So when you're headed down to the Keys, you have to stop at Robbie's. It's an iconic place and you get to feed the tarpons. There are tarpon that are well over 100 pounds eating fish right out of your hands. So come with me, let's go feed some right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are literally over six feet long right here. That is a, at minimum, six foot tarpon. No. All right, so the used to not have to have these nets here, but because of these savages, we gotta put the nets up with the holes, otherwise these guys will bite your hand off. And they will draw blood. So after we finished there, I, I convinced my wife and my daughter that they could see the sunset and that I knew the perfect bridge. Oh, I know the perfect bridge all right. There's a lot of fish there. And if you remember correctly, I brought my fish along. We went down there. We were actually able to catch the sunset. I didn't catch it because I was busy doing something else. But check it out. I hooked on to the biggest tarpon of my life. All right, guys, so I made it. We were able to catch the sunset. I didn't film that. My wife might have caught some, so if she did, I'll show you guys that. But I'm just here. I'm going to cast a few, uh, cast the lure out a few times, see if I can hook up on a fish. In the darkness back here, there are big tarpon jumping everywhere. So, I'm still here trying to, trying to hook one and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just throwing that Monster 3X. Big old shrimp. Let's see if I can get a fish. Just kind of working it, not too fast, but with the current and uh, letting it drift back towards the uh, bridge here. And hopefully a tarpon sees it, thinks it's a snack and takes a chunk out of it or the whole hook. Side to side? Yeah. Oh no, it's not under the bridge! It's not under the bridge! Mm. Oh, it's big. It's big. It's big. It's big. Oh, God! I gotta come this way. I don't know what that is. It's a big old tarpon, baby! Oh, oh, oh. Yo, I'm on 20 pound liter. Oh. oh god, he's going on me. Oh, it broke my line, no! Oh! That was about a six foot tarpon. I knew there was no way in hell I was gonna land that thing. But for a split second, I thought I was gonna be able to work him down the line. My line got snagged right there on the concrete and he popped me off. All right, so. I've convinced the ladies of my life, my wife, my daughter, to allow me to tie on one more lure and cast again. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna land it because I'm, like I said, I'm using 20 pound leader. I didn't bring anything heavier because I figured I was just going for like some snook and stuff. Not a six foot tarpon, but let's try and cast one more time. I actually have one shrimp lure left. I'm using the Monster 3X. Um, it's a little melted because I had literally had this in the bottom of my backpack did not realize it was in here so luckily it was just do a basic cinch knot and 
That's it, let's go. He's in the current, so it's gonna make it tough to bring him to land. I gotta work my way down the bridge. I see it. All the way down. As long as he stays out there, I'm good. So, come with me, guys. Come with me. Try and land me a tarpon. He's there, he's gonna do a run in a minute. I just gotta keep him out of the pilings. There he is, you see him? Yeah. I gotta go all the way to the bottom over there. Oh. It's a juvie, it's not a six footer like the other one. But you know what? I came here to get a fish and I got a fish. Oh no, I think I spoke too soon. He just got a burst of energy. Fighting these tarpon, they're like a four wheel truck. Where's he at? Broken spit my hook. <laughs> Again? Oh. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. So close. Alright. You read the shirt. It says, Deer Fishing, I love you. And I just literally convinced these two lovely uh, women of my life to uh, allow me to give you 10 more minutes. So we're gonna cast it out and uh, hope for the best. This place is absolutely loaded with tarpon right now. So I feel confident I'm gonna get one, but actions speak louder than words. Well, that is uh, three for the tarpon, zero for me. So time to call it a night. Everybody's hungry. They're mad at me because I made them stay a little too long. But uh, I will be back to catch a big old tarpon. Hopefully, hopefully I can bring Mike out here. But uh, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, keep your head up. Keep moving forward. Tight lines. Unfortunately, I did not land a darn tarpon that night. But just so you don't go through the video without seeing me land a fish, I'll show you my PB tarpon right now. Get back off! Yo! Yo! <sighs> Bro, you might have the biggest fish of the night. Yeah, this is probably your PB, right? Wow. Ryan's tired, my guy. Oh, that clean with the hand on there like that. Yeah. <sighs> Brian, how you feel? <laughs> so that's it. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, if you do like the content that's on this channel, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell because it'll help me help you see me fishing when I post videos and stuff. You know how it goes. So again, guys, thank you for watching. I got to go ice my knee right now because I just had the surgery. Maybe pop one more... Uh, extra strength Tylenol and go relax. So until next time, no matter what you go through, get through it. And uh, I just want to say, be the, it. and I want to remind you that it's time for you to be the CEO of your own life and go catch everything outdoors. And always keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.